there's always this survival mechanism. Now, the white boy knows that in order for him to destroy us, he can't just open up and just come out and say, we're going to make war on you. Even Mr. Lewis Farrakhan said one time, do you want your slaves to go to war with you? Because if you know your slaves go to war with you, we will win. And some people say, how in the hell can we win this thing? He understands, and even the this, this, that in order for him to wage war on us, he has to keep us in a state of perpetual bliss in the comfort zone, here it goes again, into thinking there's not a war going on, and we thinking it's 1970. When he's declared war on us 10 years, but the trappings around us is so severe and so anesthetic and so hypnotic and so he has to pick us off without us knowing. Because if he openly announced it, and we even suspected that we were dying in mass form, other than when it's already done, these devices will come online. See what I'm saying? So one reason why the motherfucker don't fuck with me, because he already know. Shit, I know about this shit. <laughs> Mess around and mess with that nigga, that ain't any shit. I say thank you. Now I can really do the damn job of killing your ass. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's one of the things. The people that know what time it is, they let them go about free. It's only about keeping the dead. Because that's, that's, that's their game anyway, just to rule the map. But it's, it's interesting because I got the book back where it talks about these devices coming on in the body. That will literally remedy all bullshit. And that is the transmutation. You see, the devices that will come out in the body, he says, based on seemingly, their devices will come into operation at the time of seemingly annihilative nuclear war to save the race from extinction. That's just his context we're talking about. The race they're talking about in the nuclear war is talking about this white boy killing off the original Kundalini people. Which goes to this particular part here, which I'm very concerned about, is Dr. Delbert Blair. This is very interesting, because I went to a lecture here. Um, I went to a lecture with him. Um, and he was saying that we got white against black and black against white. First of all, Black people ain't against no white people. Black people love white people. I don't know who the fuck he's talking about. 99.9% <laughs> of all black people I know love white people. Okay. Now, I don't know no black people against no white people. Tell it. Maybe some black against black. Yeah. But ain't no black against no white people. Tell it. Tell it. But he said white against black, black against white. Then he said when, when this blue or green man come down here, it's reptilian gonna be so horrible until we gonna run to white people and they gonna run to us as allies. I'm saying hold it, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Let's get some shit straight here now. Hold on. Now I don't know about no blue man, but if I see the blue man come down here and start kicking his crack in the behind, I'm gonna hold the cracker down. And if he say, well, we need a few of yours, I'll say, well, I'll give you 100,000 of these no good Uncle Tom Negroes yeah. <laughs> just for you to wipe off this whole race of these crackers. Because right. I do know one thing, my enemy has been this oppressor. Okay. 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 So the whole concept is ludicrous, but I, I was listening to this shit and the spirit was saying, look, this is some government stuff dealing with the David Ike, him, and all this stuff talking about this reptilian. Yeah. But if the Gopi Krishna book says that there are devices that's coming online and we know that the reptilian is the kundalini energy, the serpentine race, the Uraeus crown that you see on all the ancient Egyptians and the snake, then we know that what they're getting ready to fight against is the kundalini energy that they are calling with David Icke and them reptilians. And they are actually talking about black people and the energy of us. And so now they 
they got black people talking this stuff, including going to South Africa and getting a black guy named Quaker Mutua to talk about this dog on reptilian stuff. And in actuality, I'm still yet to see these damn reptilians. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're still making your face no sense. The key here is, he is not concerned about an outside alien when he has made us his subject for the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. And you know, for him to now say that he needs us to be an ally, mm -hmm. means that he needs us to be an ally to stop our own late force. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, Devil Blair says, these reptilians are coming. And the only thing that can stop them is melanated people. <laughs> We're going to stop somebody from coming in and kicking this cracker up his ass. That's like Christopher Atticus or somebody. Yeah, yeah. Getting shot in the Civil War and shit, he was slave. I mean, the Revolutionary War, he was slave. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, we're going to do the Christopher Atticus thing on somebody's ass. Yeah, yeah. You a slave. Somebody coming to liberate you who is yourself, and you're going to shut it down. This is a form of mind control, number one. This is how I know that there's some government agency going on. Whenever you say the only people can stop it is melanin people, and saying that we got to have white people as allies, you know what I'm saying? And they yet to do good by us on the physical plane. Mm -hmm. yeah. But all of a sudden, we're going to go to the common enemy to fight off another enemy, supposedly. So this common enemy, enemy can still be enemy to hide. <laughs> and some shit just don't make no sense. <laughs> I'm going to go to my ass with <laughs> to go fight off a potential man so my ass whipper can remain in power. Still jugging me up the butt. <laughs> this is government mind control that's going on. You got to leave the white boys behind this shit. Because the way he phased that thing, only you can stop it. Now all of a damn sudden, we got some fuck. We don't have enough power to build a goddamn ice cream <laughs> So All of a sudden, we got the power to stop an alien power. <laughs> it's got the technology to get here eight light years away in a, in a, in a six seconds. <laughs> and yet, we don't have enough power to open up a candy store. <laughs> we can't even build a decent pair of underwear by ourselves. But yet we're going to stop this power. <laughs> it's coming eight light years away. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, we're going we to stop this power. We're going to stop this power. But the cracker, you don't like us. You talk about a sucker. <laughs> we still doing the plunky shit. So now you want us to be cosmic plunky. <laughs> you know, we gonna stop some aliens. I said something. You sit. This is the year 2000. You sit in a place telling us that the only way that we're going to stop these eggs and kick this crack in the ass is going to be for melanated people. <laughs> <laughs> melanated people, stop kicking your slave master in the ass. Right? You got to stop. You see. And I knew then that we're talking about something so asinine, something so ridiculous, until it's got to be a government agent that'll make a motherfucker pay for shit like that. It's got to be connected with the crack. You know what I'm saying? It's got right. to be connected with the doggone cracker. Mm -hmm. You know. Any fool, though, when somebody comes and he's an ally, you don't stop your ally. That's right. So this is some stuff that's going on. It's intelligence around the country with David Ike, and they're talking about this rep reptilian shit. Mm -hmm. That's talking about us. They call them re reptilian and shapeshifters. They're still talking about us going into another transformative being. And this book proves it. Talking about these devices coming in on the body. You see what I'm saying? 
And that's why he has to sneak and has to kill us all secretively, because he knows that he announced the day of battle. It's over, but it don't matter. Because now what we're talking about here is not defensive. That's the problem with us. So we always try to get the defense. But even your revolutionary groups ain't nothing but defense. That's you know? right, that's right. They stop piling, they get the guns. Yeah. Knowing damn well the white man's strike, it'll take us another 30 years just to that down recoup. The object of the matter is, the reason why he's successful, because he's always the offense now what about going on the fucking offense? But we're not necessarily talking about the offense on his level. We're talking about these divine forces. Mm -hmm. The same shit that he's talking about called shadow matter and all this kind of stuff. This is the stuff we're talking about. Now let me drop some stuff on you. What, the, what is the topic of the hour right now? So you can understand this particular stuff right now and what's going on. Uh, what's going on right now? The white boy came out about two months ago. He was so scared. So he said, shit, I got to bring this shit on Nightline. It's not the national news. I just got to bring it on there. He don't never bring you nothing on his news because he knows that if it don't come on the news, you don't believe it. So the mere fact that he bring it on his news, it means that he's got to tell a certain portion of the, of the population what's going on. And why did he bring it on in this year 2000? Now let me explain this. On Nightline about two months ago, the white boy came out. He said, we're dealing with the end of the world. He said this shit right on Nightline. He said, and how we thought the world was going to end, we got to throw out all scientific aspects. He said, this is how the shit going to end. Number one, they don't get the whole picture. The whole thing started with the Apple White people. Well, it actually started with Union them. Those magazines wrote an article on this dark matter this dark cycle and stuff back in 1993. Uh, um, the Indians called it the Kali Yuga cycle. The Golden Dawn Society did a psychic projection into the sphere of dark in the Kabbalah on the path work, and they saw this damn dark cloud in the early, early, early 1900s. Uh, the Apple White people, or what they call the Heaven Gate people, to kill themselves out there with. Where was that at? Uh, one part of California. Said that based on the Hellbop comic, it was this ship behind the Hellbop comic. And they were going to get on the ship, so they killed themselves. And probably the only part of the band was that fool ass black woman that killed themselves. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. They were breaking this thing down in several levels. Art Bellingham was talking about a ship. The Apple White people were talking about a ship. But the remote viewers from Emory University, Lieutenant Ed Dames and Courtney Brown and them were saying, the remote viewers were saying, it was this big black cloud, three times bigger than the Earth, out in space. Uh, out in space, and it was an intelligence. Then Discover Magazine came out and said, well, the Earth is sitting right in the middle of a black hole. Uh, Discover Magazine, October or November 1998. Uh, 1998. Uh, right in the middle of a black hole. Um, then, uh, the scientific people said, we're not going to touch this shit. Because until we touch it, the people, don't, most mass of the people ain't gonna believe the shit is real. So, two months ago they said, damn it, it's 2000, we better come out and tell these damn people what the shit going on. So they came out and uh, said that, we talking about how the earth gonna end, so we know now. And they said that there's this big boy out in space, this black boy, 
that actually this big boy is actually has something in it. They said we thought it was nothing, but it's actually something. And it is getting bigger and bigger, and it's taking all of the stars and pushing them out of existence. So they're just gonna disappear in this black boy. And he said, Okay, okay. Then he said, okay. and then Earth gonna end. They said the ship was moving as fast as the speed of light. Okay. So they Drop the stuff on the people that's supposed to know. The people who's supposed to be aware and know what time it is. This is the time to get ready. Then they say, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back. That means it's time to set it up for the idiots out here so they don't panic. You know, the people are aware say, we know what's going on now. We don't have to hear the rest of the show. Then they say, we're going to take a break. That's for all the black people and all the white people sitting at home before they panic. Then they came back and were saying, yeah, this thing is dead all, but it's going to take a couple of thousand years. <laughs> I said, wait, the assholes just told you this shit to take the speed of light. Damn, the earth don't take a damn but a couple of minutes. The sun don't take but a couple of minutes to get here. You know, the, the light in the morning. They said the speed of light. Then they come say a couple of thousand damn years. Now, the mystery here is that the Israel regarded people, Israel regarded his people from the Golden Dawn Society said that they, when they tapped into path working of the tree of life going through this stuff psychically, they could see this dark cloud. But we know that they said that they tapped into it with the spear of Doc. And Doc also means Doc. But Doc means melanin on the Kabbalah. So, we're not talking about some shit. Is out in the holographic space. We're talking about some stuff that is in black people now. And it is pertinent that the top of the Kundalini, you got the black dot when you see the staff of the Hootie or the Medical Association. Symbol. You got the black dot, which is dark. So therefore, they got to have people like Blair. David Icke and all these people telling people to turn against the reptilians because the damn end of the earth is not coming from out there in space. That's just a projection of what's going on on the inside of us. But they're saying the projection is so bad they had to tell people on regular news because we're right on the verge of this shit. We're talking about Every day now.